Okay, folks, we are finally here. This is the Arcadia Central Station. Uh, my name is Rita, and I was your tour guide today. Please have a safe trip home. We all hope oh, to see finally. you. Finally, really you're gonna make it. Yeah, looks like it. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. What am I gonna find out there, Angela? Oh, well, uh, the world outside is not that different. Just uh, more modern and uglier. Much of the technology you already know from here also exists out there. You know, shared cars, cleaning bots, flying drones, we have all those. We also have something like Adanet, but with no restricted content, of course. What else? Um, we waste our lives looking at screens, but that's not too different from you guys, is it? Holy cow, if they weren't planning to kill me, I'm not sure if there is even a reason Remember to get out of here, the way you put it. Badge at there all is times. one really good reason to get out. You've lived Please all your life moving. inside a gilded cage. And for the first time, you're gonna be completely free. Yeah. But that is a valid point. <laughs> Definitely. Everything was going fairly well, all things considered. I thought I was really close to getting out, but of course, I didn't know about the jingle back then. Do you... do you hear that noise, by the way? It sounds like... Uh, like an air raid Remember siren in the distance or something. It's really annoying. Huh, no, I don't hear anything. Thank you for visiting really? Arcadia. It's pretty loud. Don't pay any attention to it, Trevor. Just get through the checkpoint and leave. Please, remember that you are required to wear your access badge to exit through the checkpoint. Thank you for visiting Arcadia. Jesus, that sound is unbearable. Please, sir. Keep, Keep going, Trevor. We're really close. You'll be in a train outside Arcadia in a few steps. I'm not feeling too well. Trevor? Trevor, come on. Move. <sighs> it was a nightmare. Take the worst headache and the worst dizziness you've ever had, smash them together, multiply them by ten, and you still wouldn't come close. Then the security guy says to me, Next, please. But I couldn't move. And if that wasn't enough, Angela says to me in the earpiece, Trevor? Trevor, come on. Move. I can't take a step. I just can't. Are you feeling all right, sir? Yes. I just need a... Security, please, come immediately. We might have a breach at gate B in 915. And then I see a six-foot-tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say... Subject 10392, clear text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title II, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor, violating get the, the hell out of there now. There's no use. I can't. Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you gotta move now. I can't. Trevor, do what I say, coño. 10392. Stay right where you are. Subject 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors! Get the subject, now! I couldn't believe it. Until then, Interceptors were an urban legend. A high-tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci-fi codename. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an Interceptor. Most people just referred to him as the Tackleberry. Because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. You know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket and all that. Anyway, I had worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the Interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a hundred meter dash while feeling like complete shit. 10392! <gasps> Stop running! Angela! Angela! What? I'm feeling better. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better. Go ahead, sir. 10392! Stop running! Angela! Angela! What? Angela! 
not. I'm feeling better. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better. What was that? Hey, you didn't see it now. Keep running. What? Ah! Interceptors on the tail of subject 10 3 92. Why do, why do these guys keep calling me a 10 3? It's 10 3 something. It's your citizen ID. Wait, what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run. Sectors, maintain pursuit. Don't do it, 10392. Ah! Subject is heading back to the station. Interceptor unit B, proceed. Shit, they're coming from the escalators. Hey! to stop this nonsense and surrender back, 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 now back.
I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. Nonsense and Come surrender. Back, 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 now. Back, back. Come on. Don't let subject 10 3 A cruise the line. Climb that. A uh, horrific statue or whatever that is. Whoa. 10 3 92. Stop running. 392 is escaping through the roof. Get him. back there, Angela. I... I couldn't move with that noise. I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting that. I... You, you gotta hide for a while till I come up with something. I just... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, I have an idea. Angela, Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a... Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you're... Help me with that door, Angela, would you? Yeah, just a second. What the? Trevor, shit. They've locked my computer. I, I, I don't know what, uh... Oh, hey, Gene, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I can't do a thing. What on Earth? What, who are you talking to? Lockdown? Really? Oh, uh, what happened? Ooh, that's bad. Okay, I'll see you in the lobby then. Yeah, I hope they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Trevor, I need to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and, and... Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Wait, wait, wait. You plan to hide inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit-down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever you got right now. No problem. I'm at the Spectrex cabinet. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay inside the cabinet until I'm out of here. I'll be back as soon as I... Hey, Kendra, what's up? This is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. When called by your last name, please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Thank you. Can you, you believe it? Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's, that's really crazy. And an insider is helping him, one of us. They get the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it because why? Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but between you and me, Angela, black and white movies, cartoons for kids, but American Arcadia? There is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead. But this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has changed the way we perceive society and even... <clears throat> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... 
I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning. You know, right? Okay, see ya. Dios, cállate la boca ya. She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the 21st floor. Okay, preserve my admin permissions. Preserve my admin permissions. Jesus H. Christ, how am I gonna do that? All cloud services will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay, uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela, think. You gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Steganography. A word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through our red lens, everything in it suddenly makes sense. And that's what steganography basically is. Concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how to hide a code in an image, a text, or even a song. Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today, because science always finds a way. I got it. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Hmm. Any VHS tape will do the trick. Sabat or Sabat, I don't know how to pronounce that. Come to the lobby exit. This is the video editing room. I gotta get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. Whoa, ZW. <laughs> I bet this guy will be the last to exit the building. Maybe he's in the cafeteria, waiting to be called. The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is A.S. They're calling the S's now. EB-21 Blotty Blah must be long gone for sure. The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is A-S. They're calling the S's now. EB-21 Blotty Blah must be long gone for sure. Uh, who is this guy? I barely know any employees on the first floor. It doesn't matter anyway. This guy's last name begins with a D. I'm sure he's not in the building anymore. Huh. There must be a way to enter the editing room from the other side. Good, good. Now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is, and clone his ID. Fernando Salcedo. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. There he is. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. There he is. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. Let me clone your ID real quick. 
And it's done. I'm not proud about doing this to Walton Media Coworker, but I really needed your credentials, Zazu Waluigi. Tiffany Schneider, come to the lobby exit. How do I get to the video room? Whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job. Jeez, this looks like a damn maze. And I hate mazes. I hate this place. Seymour, Seymour. Very funny. Who's a wise ass? Where do I go now? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. I uh, apologize, Mr. Seymour. Oh, I hope this works. I hate squeezing into tight spaces. Rakim Sharp. Come to the lobby exit. This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record in here. Come to the lobby exit. I don't know what this sound mixer is for, but I'm sure I don't need it. Okay, this Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, está en español y todo. Hours and hours of useless TV footage. I don't know what this sound mixer is for, but I'm sure I don't need it. Let's get down to business. The blue screen shows the Comet tape digital data. And the large monitor displays the admin permissions on my cell phone, which I need to hide. So I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape.
Ugh, I ruined it. Yes, 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 I got it! Now I'll run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything from my cell. See you at home, admin permission. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass! What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? That was close. Angela Solano, please.
Hey, Angela, ¿qué pasó? What took you so long? Ah, oh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero, what's up with the VHS tape, eh? You have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje puertorriqueño original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. And then I went home to have a heart attack, which took me a while since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. Welcome home, Angela Solano. <sighs> At last. Now I need to convert the video info back to code again to recover my admin permissions. And check on Trevor too. Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin permissions? Shut up! I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you... What the hell happened at the checkpoint? The jingle happened. The jingle? What? What? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason for your departure from Walton Media? Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs, but that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act? I doubt it. Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? How come you guys didn't know about the jingle because it did not exist when we got out <sighs> damn it if trevor has that jingle thing in his head how are we going to get him out remember i asked you to preserve your admin permissions you did that right you are going to need them to operate one of those rental cars that some tourists use rental car you mean like a swift yes now get him on the road in one of those cars, and as soon as Trevor hears that noise again... I take control of the car and get him across it, right? That is it. Whew, easier said than done, but I'll try my best. Good luck, Kovacs. We are counting on you. My cousin Barbara and my mom. A picture with Dylan and Sophia. <laughs> we RPG'd through our UCF college days. If I keep up this crappy high-sugar diet, I should be able to develop type 2 diabetes in no time. <sighs> Trevor, I'm back. Get out of the cabin. We are good to go. Okay. One second. Yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. TCH? My high score initials. TCH, Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Fine, Trevor Clarence. 
Listen, we're going to... Wait, wait, are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Famous last words. My fellow citizens, please pay close attention to the man in this picture. This is 28-year-old Trevor Hills. What on earth? A resident of the Point Sienna Drive District. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. Hills is a severely unstable individual and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable. Or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake. Who could I possibly represent a threat to? If you see this individual, please immediately report him to local authorities. We wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of everyone in Arcadia. <laughs> and that makes three lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. I'm Arcadia's public enemy number one. What do I do now? For now, make sure you're not seen. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors to get that one we got. It's the Beastie Boys again. You sent the interceptors to get that wimpy guy? Yeah. That wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. Told you they were gonna call in the cavalry. So why isn't the Robocop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts! I told you evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon? Right there! It's Trevor Hills. Send the drone. Oh. Hexagon. Any news about Hills? Yes, we got all the. Hey, hey. Hexagon. Elevator has stopped. Reset. Right there. It's Trevor Hills. Send the drone. Oh. Hills. Yes, we got all exits covered. He's not getting out of the mall. We'll play the warning on the PA system soon. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Uh, you gotta try not to be recognized somehow. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you think this will do the trick? Let's hope so. Doesn't fit the description. Uh, that guy looks like Steven Spielberg. Good, good. 
Nobody is paying attention to you now. Whew, that's a relief. Okay, Angela, what's the plan now? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Okay, plan B. Aren't we already at C? Whatever. We need to get you into a rental car. A rental car? You mean like a Swift? You know I won't be able to drive if I hear those noises, right? Don't worry about it. As soon as you hear them, just let me know and I'll do the driving. Remotely. And what about after that? You slip through the dome's exit and congratulations, you're a free man. The dome? What on earth is the dome? Oh, wait, let me guess. I'm about to discover another one of Arcadia's intricate lies, right? Sorta. Your attention, please. This is a message from Arcadia security forces. We believe the fugitive Trevor Hills may be inside this premises. Oh, man. This building is a complete lockdown. Refrain from leaving the Blue Fountain Mall until further notice. Thank you. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting! Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Oh, look! They have a droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate whatever automated personnel is attached to it. Now I can control that droid would have been enough for me. pickup area. Look at the charge status screen. We need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome. Looks like the one in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery. Good. Then take that one and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that car on the end! What? What? Something wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. I don't know, man. All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering to you. Angela, didn't you say this car didn't have enough battery to reach the dome? I know, I know, I know, I know, but I need to... Let me handle this, okay?
<laughs> oh my, look at this sweet ride. Shining aerodynamic lines, a masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines... I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh, fine. Let's get going. Uh, Angela? Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton, and this is American Arcadia. Whew, oh my, oh my, looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. Thanks for that, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffanyers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines and, oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. I guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo, that burns! The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the boot. But look at this, 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live app now and let us know your thoughts. But we can't forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere.